And welcome back. So uh, we are at the Grand Jean Campground in Idaho. We drove about 14 hours and uh, got to the campground a little bit ago. And we are backpacking the Sawtooth Range up here in Idaho. Uh, we'll be backpacking for about four to five days. Uh, not really too sure yet. And uh, yeah, so we're really excited to be here. Uh, there are four that I know of uh, major wildfires burning in Colorado right now, possibly five. Um, and so, super sad. Uh, I can't remember how many acres have been burned, like 170 or 80,000. And so we had a trip planned for Snowmass and had to cancel that trip. So we drove up here to Idaho and um, it's been quite the adventure so far. So. Yeah, we stayed at uh, La Quinta last night in Pocatello, Idaho, and uh, so yeah, lots of driving, but uh, it's been really good. So welcome back, and see you here soon. Look at that face. Everybody. So today is day three of Alec and I's adventure up here to Idaho. Today we start the backpacking trip. Woohoo! So we are at the Grand Jean Campground uh, entering the Sawtooth Wilderness um, and the Sawtooth Recreation Area. We just filled out our permit so we're ready to go. See you here on the trail.
I am cold soaking some spinach and cheese tortellini. That way when I get ready to boil it, I don't have to use as much propane. Because this is not entirely full. Good night, everybody. See you in the morning. Hey everybody, good morning. We have camp all packed up here and uh, we're ready to hit the trail. Day two on the trail, uh, we'll be hiking along Iron Creek Trail today and hopefully uh, we'll be able to see a couple of waterfalls. They're kind of off the trail, we'll see how gnarly it is to actually get there. Um, Bridal Veil Falls and then Lady Face Falls. So yeah, all right, we're all packed up and uh, see you soon. Yeah, the lightning storm last night was awesome. It was really peaceful. Lightning, thunder, just a light sprinkling rain. It's very nice. Got a nice stream down there and these pretty red bushes dotting the trail. There's the trail going that way. And we can see live trees in the distance. Woohoo! This is our bathroom kit. In it we have a snow stake, our toilet paper roll, and a couple of darker bags to hold um, dirty toilet paper and tampons, etc. Yeah. We pack out everything. I'm not sure what other backpackers do with their toilet paper, but there are lots of backcountry campsites that it's very evident that people have left their toilet paper behind. It makes me sad. So we pack everything out with us. And yeah, so that is that. Beautiful. There it is. Really nice campground.
Good morning. It is cold and very foggy. This water was really good here. Nice and clean. They're really pretty. Beautiful. Oh, baby. So after the big climb, we got to Sawtooth Lake and we let this guy go for one second to go get in the lake and cool off. And he rolls, rolls on a dead elk carcass that was rotting. So he will be sleeping in the vestibule tonight. Gorgeous.
this is the end of day four. It's getting dark. See you tomorrow. Can you hear it falling? What's that? That huge rock. Can you just hear it falling down? So we're headed down, switch backing down, and then we'll be curving to the right in the frame and headed back to Grand Jean Campground, about nine or so miles today. There's a little mouse in there. So this whole area in here is why we came out to Idaho. We'll definitely be back. This place is beautiful. Filtering water in this beautiful spot. Going through some dense foliage right now. Just getting a hit in the face. <laughs> Branches. Finally made it to our trail junction. Woohoo! So we are on our way back to Grand Jean Campground and we have about three and a half miles to go. That first five miles was brutal. Yeah. It's just boulders everywhere and just thick willows everywhere and just charging through those and over the all the rocks and from all the rock slides yeah so we're really happy to be here it feels hotter today too it feels a lot hotter today One thing I was missing on this hike were aspen trees. And there's some right here. Not a bad way to end the hike. Good morning.
morning everyone. So we ended up staying at a hotel last night. Um, one of our sleeping pads, the REI Co-op brand, um, was slowly deflating overnight um, on the backpacking trip. So it was kind of cold and uncomfortable sleeping on the ground. Um, so we switched off so that uh, we both didn't have to sleep on the ground the whole trip. Um, so that was one reason why we ended up staying uh, in a hotel last night here in Idaho. Uh, so we are back on the road now. We have about an eight and a half hour drive to make it back to Colorado. Uh, while we were gone, the Pine Gulch fire became the biggest wildfire in Colorado history. I don't know how many acres that burned, um, but that fire ended up becoming bigger than the Hayman fire. Um, so super sad and uh, one of the reasons why we came out here to Idaho to backpack. It was a really great experience being out here and backpacking the Sawtooth Range and we will definitely be back um, for more backpacking out here. So uh, thank you very much for joining on this adventure everyone and we'll see you here very soon um, on the next one. Run past the river Run past all the light Feel it crashing and burning Till it all collides Strike a match, lit the fire Shining up the sky As it all comes down again As it all comes down again As it all comes down Oh uh -huh.